Hey everyone! We're at Bacchus Woods today. It's one of the oldest hardwood conservation areas in Ontario. It's supposed to have a bunch of unique plants and wildlife only known to this area. Can't wait to see what adventures we have. There's supposed to be a sugar shack in there somewhere, so let's go see if we can find it. Here we go, into Bacchus Woods. These are all green trails in here. Um, I think it's a total of about 20 kilometers. I'm really excited to see what's all in here. Here we go on the first trail. See Mac, that would be those red ones. Oh, this is gorgeous in here. Look at this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This looks like an amazing trail for new riders. It's a great trail so far. So what sign do we have here? So this is the Sugar Bush Trail. Now we are on the Sassafras Trail. Sassafras, what a cool name. The scenery in here is beautiful. Oh, this is nice. So Sabrina, would you recommend this trail for new riders? Oh, definitely. There's a big tree falling over. I was gonna say, that's super cool. <laughs> that is pretty neat. I'm liking this sassafras trail. Another tree down. Bunny hop, babe. Uh, <laughs> up to you. Here we go, across the road. I guess there is wetlands in this area. Maybe this is the wetland trail. Maybe. Wow. Flying through the forest. Boardwalks are nice. Yeah, they've done a good job on these trails. I honestly have to say that I like biking in like conservation areas compared to like the, the man-made bike park type feeling. Yeah. But I like the whole forest immersion better. These trails are definitely more rustic, more natural trails than the trails you'll find at like the hydro cut of the pines. Chipmunk. Chipmunk under the bridge. Oh yeah, really liking this. So far, this might be actually one of my new favorite nature trails. We're so lucky to be able to get out in nature like this and have these kind of trails in our area. Downhill fun time. Woo! Hey. Nice. <laughs> We're not done yet. Give her. This is cool. Okay, what do we got here? All right, we're either done wetland or sugar bush. Wasn't sure exactly what the trail was called, but now we are on Four Oaks Trail. <laughs> I assume we're gonna see at least four oak trees on Four Oaks Trail. Well, this trail is nice. It is. I like how each trail is a little different. Hey, this one's got little yellow or orange mushrooms on the trail. There's a white oak. Oh yeah, downhill. <laughs> Very nice. Just saw a monarch. Oh, monarch. Yep. Oh, this is a nice little spot. It's a neat downhill. Downhill fun time. Woo! Oh, oh. Yeah. Turns are done. Turns. <laughs> oh, yeah. Glorious trail. It's quite the meadow that we came into. From all that wooden section into like a beautiful open meadow. Oh. <laughs> sand. We don't usually deal with too much sand. I was reading about this place and how they had taken farmland and they were working at turning it back into reclaimed forest. Oh, nice. Once was a field, it's now being turned back into woods. So it's a really good initiative that this natural conservation area is doing that. Back into the woods. They're definitely cooler in here. Definitely. Oh, there's a red oak. Okay, so I found a white oak and a black and a red oak. So looking for the last two elusive oaks. This is gorgeous in here. This. I think that's another oak tree. Nice. Hey, we found the sugar shack. Let's take a look at this. Ooh, pretty cool. Hey, look, we found the sugar shack. I was reading on the website and they were saying that that boiler was used to turn the sap from the maple tree into syrup. 
And that cabin over there is where the family would stay while they were making the syrup. Isn't that cool? I like finding little places like this. What a gorgeous area this is. I think it would be absolutely stunning in here in the fall. Yeah. Let's come back here in the fall and do this trail. Once the leaves start to change? Yeah. Lots of birdies ahead I taking off. I was going to say, did you see all the birds? Yeah. Time to cross the road again. There's the trail there. Woo! Down to more fun time. Ow! Nothing but the sound of birds chirping in here. It's glorious. Oh. <laughs> This trail is obviously not used as much. No, this one's a little bit more overgrown and a little bit more rooty. Oh. Ooh, bridge with a railing. Fudge, I hate bridges. On the floodplain trail. I have to say, uh, <laughs> this one here is more rooty. Rooty. Good job, babe. Oh. Hope that was the path. <laughs> okay, so maybe this section might be a little more tricky for new riders, but not too bad. It's nice though, we're on the water's edge. I saw that. Down to the left of us is a nice creek. Not far either. Really creek to the left of me. Marsh to the right. Here I am, stuck in the middle with the mosquitoes. I am stuck in the middle with them. But I got my brug spray on. Anybody who has ragweed allergies, this is not the section to be in. Yes, if you suffer from ragweed, you might not want to be in this area. There, that was a good clearing trail section. I like that. That is awesome. This area is beautiful. Now we're taking the connector trail back to the Weston Family Trail. The lowland trail, I don't think I'd recommend that for new riders. It's a little overgrown, pretty rooty, has some pretty decent hills on it. That was the only trail that we found. It'd be a little bit more difficult than the others. Nice ride, babe. Here we are, back at Seymour the Subaru. What a nice trail system that was. Can't wait to hit that up again. We just finished the perimeter of the Bacchus Woods trails. It was a really interesting trail system that we went to. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff in the middle that we still need to cover, but we're hoping to come back in the fall. But until next time, see, see you on, on the, the trails. trails.